Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, brothers, sisters, kings, oh my queens, it's your boy the doozy back with another video. Man, y'all will have to forgive me, you feel me? It's been about two plus weeks, you feel me? I haven't posted. Honestly, it was a due to it was due to lack of discipline, right? Yeah, I just I didn't post. And I've been slacking honestly, but I'm back and I'm better, baby. Just got a fresh cut, you feel me? But anyway, let's get right into it. Shout out for sticking around and shout out for checking out this video. As you can see by the topic, set your standards high when it comes to women. Now, this is for all my brothers, you know, but for all females who watch this, Use this information and apply it to the men that you want. But let's get it right. So set your standards high. The reason I'm coming with this topic. <laughs> I've been on Insta, man. And so I had deleted my other account. I had to restart. So in me starting a new Insta. I started following people and you know it's crazy like to even follow a hundred people that's a lot of people right unless you're just following without being conscious of who you follow when I actually sit down and and I'm following the right people right people who are not of this world people who are believers who are kingdom citizens you know there's really a few people you can really follow like, in me following a hundred people, right? I ended up following some people who weren't godly, who are of this world. Because I found it so hard to reach a hundred. But anyways, how I went about it, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to follow a hundred people, right? And all those who don't follow me back, who I expect to follow me back, I'm going to unfollow them when I get to a hundred. So yeah, man, I followed a hundred plus people, mainly girls. And this topic comes from, there's a lot of girls I followed, right? Firstly, a lot of girls from my past who I feel, who, I won't even lie, like, they're not as beautiful, right? I feel like everyone, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder and everyone is beautiful in their own right, right? But for me, I didn't find them, like, attractive enough to make them my wife. And there's some girls I followed who are attractive. But anyways, yeah, in me following people, there's a lot of girls who didn't follow back, right? Man, a lot. Like, if you... I'm sitting on, like, 26 followers now. But yeah, it's like... It just taught me that, you know what... You have to set your standards high. Women, they have this mindset. Some of them that I've encountered, they have this mindset that they tense, they pretty. And I won't lie, like, it is a bit of, it's a, it's a bit delusional, right? Not all women, but most. It's a bit delusional because... Yes, as I said, everyone is beautiful in their own right. But when we compare women, we can tell that, okay, you know, she looks better in terms of just looks. But beauty is vain, right? But like women, they tend to think highly of themselves. Because society is what it is, you know, men chasing women. Women believe they have the upper hand. But as a brother who's on semen retention, today is day one, you feel me? But yeah, as a brother who's on SR, you know you, you, you know your value, you know what effort you bring. But yeah, it's like women think they, they're nice. And it's funny, back then, when I was still pursuing girls, right? This is when like I was really, I really wanted girls. There's a book... Not even a book. There's a brother, right? 
he's kind of like a dating coach but he was on some don't approach the sixes and fives you know if we're rating them he's like those are the ones who will turn you down because they think they're it go for the eights the nines the tens and when i come to think about it like carnally speaking women who are average they tend to think highly of themselves and i believe i'm an, i'm an attractive brother right so if you end up following them they won't feel like they have the upper hand you want them which is not the case like you're truly following them because they are a believer in christ plus they you know you could say they're beautiful but not that you you up there right but also this is what has taught me this is what it has taught me on some firstly don't follow women trying to be friends you know i've realized like even in most of my female friendships it's never been straightly platonic like there's always a uh, feelings right i don't know like for me like i've i've went in wanting a platonic relationship but or a platonic friendship but yeah like it always gets twisted i don't know i think it's in women you know not all women as i say but most women like to be friends with them you know and plus you know like i didn't mind being friends with women but i'm starting to realize that you know it really doesn't work it takes the right kind of female with the right mindset because if you do develop a friendship you know women once they're friends with you like friendship and this was a book i read right the friendship factor but basically the author who was a pastor right he explained that friendship is the springboard to every other kind of love or uh every other kind of i don't know what the word I don't, I don't know what's the words he used, but he talked about intimate encounter. Friendship is the springboard for to every intimate encounter. And that's what I've seen is like once you become friends with the female, not all, but they start getting comfortable and they start, I don't know, like, I feel like they start accepting you. They start liking you with the ones I've come across. So... I find it hard these days to become friends with females. But anyways, I'm saying like for me, this was my intention. But now I'm seeing that for them, it, it doesn't seem like that. Because I'm pursuing friendship, they're thinking that, okay, maybe to do this after me. So I found that, you know, you have to set your standards high. I've been texting females who are not, you know, talking Connolly, who are not eights who are not nines who are not tens and i haven't even been making but they've been ignoring me so it goes to show that this is how they think right this is how they move you know the whole world lieth in darkness except the sons and the daughters of god so if you're not a son or a daughter and a true son or daughter because there are some christian sisters who i believe are lukewarm I'm not judging. But like, yeah, it's like they think a certain way. So I've come to you, my brothers. Like, set your standards high. This is what women do. We know this. But yeah, let's do the same. Um, not out of hate or out of being a savage. It's just that women, they play games. And women, they feel worthy at times when they are not, right? Like... As guys, I feel like we're real life with it. So if I see, I, you know, I always look at my position in life and I look at a woman and I scale that, oh, can I get her? I believe I can get women, right? I, I can't get a woman that maybe makes more than me, but I understand also how they think. Women are high pergamists, right? They think higher. They, It's not about you, really. It's about what you have it's a combination of things right so with certain women it's not that i am less worthy it's just that they, their mind has been corrupted if i can put it like that 
so they think that i'm not the one whatever but i go i say all that to say is set your standards high brothers don't allow you know there's a lot of sisters who have been turning me down but when i look at it i'm like man them sisters to put it carnally like them sisters are average and i wasn't you know pursuing them to you know like i don't pursue them like i pursue like i'm trying to pursue my wife i wasn't even pursuing them at that base level right so the fact that they're acting this way shows me that you know what you have to learn to set your st your standards high as a man and not compromise you know there's a lot of backlash you'll get for this but don't compromise until you find your wife who you're looking for because otherwise man you will encounter women treating you like you're not worthy when you're worthy brothers and sisters when you're even better than them right when you're doing them a favor so use discernment do it all out of love take this to god because i don't want to be giving out carnal knowledge but this is spiritual and this is a good thing to do it's other, any other way it's been your boy to do is he i'm back baby shout out for checking this video out like comment subscribe if you feel lib i'm out peace